What's good, YouTube? This is your boy RJ back with a My Team video for you guys. And today's video is just pretty much pertaining to just having conversation. It is four days left going into season two, right? Um, and we've experienced a lot of tragedies in regards to the game. Of course, that's how always 2K comes when it comes out. It's going to be some trials and tribulations, uh, updates that need to be made, updates that need to be recommended um, that we would like to see in season two. Um, what do you guys think? that should be updated in season two what would you like to see what, what, what would be some changes that you would make to season two um preferably speaking i know as we can we can go and look at my team a lot of people was like oh man you drop hella money on the game all right bro it's okay if you choose to do that you choose to do that at the end of the day don't choose to be me but we have did our time to where we've grinded in the previous 2Ks, grinding for players and so forth. So I'm all I'm all for it. This is like the first time I've ever like indulged into trying to get the craziest team as possible for me, per se. A lot of people don't run the players that I run, but like I said, trying to get the craziest team for me, per se. So at the end of the day, if you guys don't, if you guys look at it and you're like, why LeBron not starting? There's reasons to why LeBron not starting. Um... But that's another conversation. But this main video is mainly pertaining to what would you guys like to see going into season two? First and foremost, at the end of the day, better rewards, right? Like looking at showdown, like, OK, I'm going to carry y'all being number one by the end of the season. I see OVO trying to scoop up, but he's not going to make it. Um, but like, give me some type of leisure on being number one, like Past previous 2Ks, when you use number one, you get to see a little emblem underneath your name being number one. Or let there be a prize at the end. You know what I'm saying? If you maintain or withhold it at the end of the season, I don't know. Something has to give with that. I mean, yeah, it, it looks good for the leaderboards. People know your name. People see your name. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, where where's the rewards behind that? You know? Because I am I like to play showdown. I like to be in there going crazy. Um, the weekly rewards. Now, of course, when you win 20 games, um, you get... Either the Hall of Fame badge you want to select that, or the hidden uh, hidden gem badge, or 35k uh, MT. I feel like there need I feel like there needs to be players. They need to let. I mean, I get it. The hidden gems, maybe like maybe season two they might throw in some 92 hidden gems, but I don't know because at that point now you're giving a diamond player every Friday to people that get 20 wins. So I don't know about. I don't know how I feel about that. So at the end of the day. That portion, cool. But what really needs to be updated is the season prizes. Now, this 120 win, there needs to be something after that. We're at like 318 wins, bro. So it's like we just having fun. We just playing the game, showdown, and keep grinding, getting better at the game um, day by day. But the thing is, is like once we get those boxes at 120 win, that's it. That's it. So I would like to see something better in regards to rewards. Like maybe let 120 be a, a 95. Oh, I ain't gonna say 95. Let's say 92 diamond hidden gem. And then let's say if you make it to, let's say you make it to 250 pink diamond hidden gem. And then it stops after that. Let's do something like that. You know, I'll be cool because it's like you're playing showdown. You're in there. That will that will keep people engaged to want to play showdown going for a pink diamond hidden gem um that's on that one but also as well as in king of the court now we know king of the court is every saturday before i even get into that let's talk about it breakout i've been seeing a lot of people get great cards out of breakout um but that's if you really like to grind offline mode because after domination that's it there's nothing after domination so it's like this is the next offline mode to indulge into which is breakout on um, grinding triple threat so, you know, the rewards within here, it's cool. It's just that you have to keep playing the game until you get to the bottom reward. And if you like something, you select it. I feel like there needs to be an option where you can get more than just one reward. Because once you select one reward on a Monopoly board, that's it. At least make it like five. That way, all right, if I want to get this uh, MT in the top, top left corner, I can go ahead and get that. If I wanted to get um a deluxe pack i'll go ahead and get that or if i wanted to warp and go to another board let at least be more rewards you can claim out of breakout because i feel like one reward out of breakout that's just a lot play all them games just to, just for one reward and the one reward we, we really want is a player so of course if we don't see something that we want like don't get me wrong for the people for the people that are grinding the game and that needs mt you know little mt here is cool but the rest of this stuff like you see an 80 plus overall unauctionable it needs to be an auctionable card these cards needs to be auctionable not unauctionable 
I get it. We're grinding. We're grinding for these cards. We're grinding the game. But at the same time, we need to be able to make MT. Even though we're making MT playing every game, but it's not much. Let us be able to sell those cards in the auction house. That's what I feel that is necessary. But getting into that king of the court. Well, let me not skip triple threat park. Triple threat park. Now, we do see that they're, they've been having challenges where you win 30 park games you get a 87 plus overall hidden gem now that is dope for the grinders that is dope you need to raise that up a little bit you know what i'm saying make the rewards more i get it they're dropping out challenges every week for people to play triple threat park because they're trying to keep the mode engaged previous years in 2k is you go play triple triple threat you're in triple threat until you get maybe a what 300 400 wins and then you get this crazy pink diamond player or diamond player or whatever i get it they're just throwing challenges to keep the triple threat park engaged that's the only way they're keeping this engaged right now is allowing for people to play triple threat park you got to get so many wins to collect this reward so i understand that but i feel like like i said the rewards needs to be better i get it's challenges every week to keep us engaged but if you want us to stay locked in and then very much engaged, you got to throw a top tier reward to say, hey, you get this many wins in Triple Threat Park. Here's your prize. That's how it's going to get us back into the game. But last but not least is talking about the king of the court. And shout out to all the guys that have won right here. Splash back to three, three peat, man. God damn. But shout out to all the guys that have won king of the court. We've came close in, in a few of these. So at the end of the day, um, I know how it is. But the king of the court needs to be updated rewards needs to be not to say better because rewards are nice however for the people that take their time off on saturday to play for four hours and only the top one person can get the most rewards and the rest of the one top one percent can get a 92 plus hidden gem which is a diamond that needs to be updated at least the top 10 players that are shown on the board should be able to get or let's just say this, the top five should be able to get a Galaxy Opal player. The top one, the number one, should be able to get that VC. The top from six through 10 should be able to get a 95, a 95 plus overall hidden gem. And the top 1% get that 92 diamond and so forth. That's how it should be because allowing for players to just play this game and only the number one person gets all the perks and everybody else gets the, the diamond hidden gem, it's like a slap in the face because y'all didn't do it this way in qualifications. Y'all took the top four players. So why just take the top one player to get everything? Spread the wealth because if the top one player like Splash, he keep winning, bro. He going to have the whole entire Galaxy Opal <laughs> Thanos. You feel me? He's going to have Thanos. The Thanos is. Because at the end of the day, you're going to see the same names on this list nonstop. And I don't think too, I don't think you want that. You're going to get a lot of complaints about that. I don't think you want that. I think you want to see it kind of spreads out so everybody can have their name on a list. Everybody can get them a Galaxy Opal player and so forth. Unless y'all going to start dropping Galaxy Opal packs in Season 2. Which that's what I'm thinking that's going to happen. I really think that they're going to start dropping Galaxy Opal packs in Season 2. Because the fact that when you see names, the consistent names is getting these these Galaxy Opals and you don't see no different names on that list, it's not going to spread everybody apart. You're going to keep seeing, you know, people with pink diamonds to diamonds or can't even get a pink diamond, still has a diamond full squad, maybe one pink diamond or two. But other than that, when you see a full team of Galaxy Opals, bro, you, some people don't want to play that. But it's not about, you know what I'm saying, not wanting to play that because you can have a great squad like mine, but you can be terrible right so i always say that don't be a don't be shocked or surprised by the squads of what people have whether they drop money or not by the craziest teams they can have the craziest teams and still be bad i'm not saying i'm bad i've lost to people with teams that are not greater than mine they're just more skillful at the end of the day it's about being more skillful and understanding it doesn't make you a bad at the game but i mean there are people that are bad at the game with a crazy team that i've, I've came across and you know, so it's like that's the biggest thing because it's like we go up a king of court, we go up against stallers, people that don't want to quit. If they know you, they'll quit. If they don't know you and they hate that you got a crazy team or they hate the way your play style is, they're not going to quit for you to compete to be able to get in the king of court. Because at the end of the day, king of the court is how many quits can you get? 
Let's just keep it real. How many quits can you get? So without further ado, that's what I just wanted to talk to you guys about that today and my team uh, coming into season two. What do you guys think? Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, join the Laser Crew, you know I'll be rocking as always. Y'all know how we do. Um, I appreciate you guys supporting the love as far as in showing up in King of the Court on Saturdays when I do compete and so forth. Uh, like I said, I'm, you push me, I push the content at the end of the day, man. So you did.